And as part of its Cancer Prevention Awareness Month, the American Cancer Society is recommend, has recommendations to help reduce your risk. Channel 8's Jatine Tinsley has more on how you can lower your cancer risk by nearly half. Jatine, good morning. Good morning, Katrina. And the American Cancer Society says there will be millions of new cancer cases in the United States this year, but it isn't all bad news. There are things you can do to help reduce your risk. Here in Nebraska, those U.S. stats show more than 11,000 new cases this year and more than 3,000 anticipated deaths in our own state. While those numbers are staggering, there are preventative measures you can take to help improve the odds of not developing cancer in the first place. According to the American Cancer Society's Director of Healthy Eating and Active Living, there are things you can do now to decrease your risk by 40%. First and foremost, don't smoke. That is the leading cause of, of preventable cancer deaths. And for the majority of people who don't smoke in this country, the most important things they can do to reduce the risk of cancer are to eat right and be more active. Staying out of the sun, using sunscreen while wearing protective sun gear is also helpful in reducing your overall cancer risk. Doyle also says that it's important to debunk myths about cancer. One she routinely hears is that sugar feeds cancer. She also wants you to know that there is no one superfood that's a foolproof preventative measure. There's also something you've heard time and time again when it comes to preventing cancer and other diseases. Early detection is key, and that requires annual cancer screenings to make sure there are no signs of cancer in the body. You should also know that nothing can completely eliminate the risk of cancer. You cannot smoke, eat healthy, exercise, and still get cancer. Genetics can increase or decrease cancer-related illness as well.